Greetings and salutations to all ladies and gentlemen, how is it going? My name is Kluger, and today I am checking out with you Welkin, Lords of Mayhem, version, alpha version 0.3.0, yeah. So, uh, we visited this uh, little game quite a ways back when it was very, very early alpha days, and needless to say, it's still alpha. But they've reached this pinnacle so far with 0.3 coming out very recently, and I thought it would be about time to check it out once again. Uh, the developers have most definitely been hard at work from what I can see. <laughs> this latest update for me was several gig, which is really cool. I've crammed a lot of extra stuff into the game. Um, and it's looking really great. It's coming along. I'm standing here in my freshly built house thing, which is very bad at the moment, but it costs a little money to build houses, so <laughs> not spending too much in there right now. But this is a, one of the major features that has come out with this update. And I mean, you have to say it's, it's, pre, it's pretty freaking cool. I don't know what it is about it. I'm going to go there and say it reminds me of RuneScape. Uh, back in the old school RuneScape days, you could build your house and do all sorts of crazy stuff like that. And it was really funny and awesome. So I'm getting a bit of nostalgia from this feature. But I mean, it's really quite detailed. If I click on the building mode, I mean, there's all these different things that you can choose. Um, obviously different types of walls and doors and like stone thingies and all this kind of cool jazz and stuff and things. Man, some really expensive stuff too, so you can get full-on fancy pants like a million gazillion dollar house. All these floors, and then there's a decent stack of furniture here. I put a little modest bedroom in here. And the attention to detail is really cool. See how, like, for example, I was able to put a candle on that barrel there. There's a little, little bedside table. <laughs> there's carpets that are rolled up that you can put. You can chuck in couches, fountains, pillars. So, I mean, and, you know, this can only get bigger and bigger. You can put boxes, presumably for storage. Let's try that. It doesn't. How much does it cost? A gold is not much. So I'll, yeah, like, no, it'll be like a footlocker at the trunk, at the foot of the bed. Yeah, there we go. Cool. A ballista. Yeah, because you know why not? <laughs> uh, I'm worldly, so I need some books as well. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, no books should like be out here. We'll make this like a living room eventually. But you know what? Let's just go. Let's just go large. Let's go. Go big or go home. Am I right? Hey, I'm not going to spend too much time doing this, because, you know, this is an action RPG after all, but... just wanted to show you a little bit of this, because it's really cool, so confirm. And, you know, plants, and there's lighting options here, and trees, and things, and paintings, and... Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Confirm. Alright, back to this. There we go. So there's our books. My little bedroom. Can I interact with this footlocker? No, I can't. That's okay. It looks still. It looks cool still. I thought maybe it would be storage, but... In any case, there you go. That's one of the major features that have been introduced. As well, one of the other things that developers were raving about, so to speak, was the passive skill tree, which I can't actually seem to access here, so we'll have to leave. So our house is over there, presumably. Passive skill tree, there we go. So I've got 10 points. I've been saving them up because I was trying to get a crossbow because I wanted to go down a specific tree. Um, this definitely gives me vibes of uh, Path of Exiles kind of passive skill tree, but then it's got like Grim Dawn's center bit, I suppose. And I'm saying Grim Dawn, of course, because I'm so dang familiar with it. But you start at one of these nodes in the middle here, presumably, and then branch out. This, of course, is um, the developer's own take on a passive skill tree. And it seems to have some interesting ideas. Presuming this is color-coded, because as you can see, we've got all this green for Hunter, for example. And then you'll find some green over here for Hunter, which is uh, labeled Trickster. Um, I'm not sure exactly how one accesses this unless you're supposed to go through, uh, for example, here, the Arcanist tree until you get to these nodes, which could be interesting. And then conversely, of course, here we've got like a Warden, um, sort of beigey orange when they are over here as well under Guardian. Um, and there's a bunch of purple over here. I don't know whether maybe these rotate or whatever have you. I really don't know. I haven't put any points into it. So let's start. I'm going to do Hunter because I found a crossbow. And what's this give us? 30% chance to mobilize enemies each time they become poisoned, which is kind of cool. How do we poison things though? 20% <laughs> chance to critic. 20% chance to critical chance. <laughs> Spells and physical against immobilized enemies. Radio. Um, maybe we have to get poison first somehow. Anyway, so let's just get this because dexterity gives us. You can't reach this skill yet. Oh, come on. Why not? Can I reach this skill? Oh, I didn't get that skill yet, you stupid brain head. So now I can go there. And then I can go. Each eight shot with a crossbow will give you a short 50% attack. Sure. Precise shot, 10% chance to critical with a ranged weapon when you are mobile. Yep, sounds good to me. 20% chance to slow down ranged enemies. Yep, definitely. Hunter, light armor mastery, 4% dexterity with light armor, meticulous killer. 
For each time you shoot an enemy with a ranged weapon. Sure. Wait, I can't get there yet. Okay, but you get the idea. It's really, really cool, I would I would dare say. Should I just get this whole side? 30% chance to remember enemies during 3 seconds. Each time they become poisoned, but I don't have any poison majigger just yet. Aggravated shots. 40% chance to cause a 4.0 second wound on critical strikes. Ranged only. Cold-blooded. As you to conserve the meticulous killer stacks if your target dies. <laughs> cool. Wow. So look, there's a lot going on here. And I don't know, like, oh, maybe let's just go. Does that do anything? Okay, so then that unlocks that branch up there. Wow, okay. So this is full on. This is so fancy pants. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> um, Hunter Relentless, this passive skill is not yet implemented. Okay, classic. So, uh, you know what? Let's just finish off this whole flank over here. Why not? I'm not getting too hung up on, you know, the specifics here. And I can actually do this now, too. So look at that dexterity, yeah. So I'm mostly going to do, like, three, four, five points in Constitution, and then, like, four stack of points in there. Let's put the remaining whatever in there. So Dexterity is going to give us range of physical damage, damage and movement speed, and Constitution is for our health. Woohoo! Cool! Oh yeah, look at that attack speed now, baby. Oh, oh, oh yeah. So I mean as well, just whoops. So generally speaking as well, the UI has been cleaned up quite nicely. There's a lot less placeholders in terms of weapons and armor and those sorts of things. There still are placeholders, we're still in alpha, but you know, that is fine. I'm fairly sure the HUD's been updated. The way the weapons work is updated because they've got like left and right click uh, skills passively um, sort of innate to them. So if I put the sword and shield in, then you can see I've, I've got these two specific skills and so on and so forth. Um, they've got a potion system now, so a flask of health, kind of, you know, your Diablo or Path of Exile kind of thing, where these seem to replenish over time, um, and pff, I guess that's about it. Oh, cool, and I guess this is the inn of some sort, can I talk to anybody, anybody here? Innkeeper, ah, oh, so you can reset the time here, awesome, that's really cool, because it was dark before and I couldn't see a dang thing. So there you go, bunch of stuff going on. So we can explore the world now. Oh, as well, I just want to mention, the game definitely seems to have received some optimization. It's running a lot smoother than it was last time I tried to play, which is really great news. Maybe we should go up there. Seems like a thing to do. Um, and that was one of my sort of grievances trying to play this last time. Uh, just generally, the game didn't run all that smoothly, which was, you know, of course, a bit frustrating. Can we go up here? Cool. I mean, in, in my absolute honest opinion, the game probably got into our hands a little earlier than it should have, um, just with the way it was running and, you know, the whole prototype phase that it went through um, for, I guess it was more for early backers, but nevertheless, we got really, really, really early access to it, and it, it wasn't the most pleasant experience, um, but understandably so. But now the cool thing is, being here now, um, like, I, I spent... I don't even know. I spent a decent amount of time off camera just grinding this character up. Initially, it was just to get a feel for the changes that got made, but um, honestly, I got kind of sucked in, and I was just playing the game because it was kind of feeling like a fun um, action RPG to play, and that's exactly what I was doing. So it's, this game definitely is showing a stack of promise, and it's really exciting. And I mean, needless to say, it's, it's graphically gorgeous. It was always gorgeous, even in the early prototype phase. The environments and all that sort of stuff look really nice. So the fact that it's playing a lot better than it was in terms of optimization and uh, efficiency and whatever have you, ouch, my butt. All right, all right, calm down. Good shot. This friggin' chump, man, doesn't want to die. He's got this friggin' tanky ass. Sheesh, man. It's got this whole... I don't even remember if it used to have the dodge thing. It's honestly been a little while since I've played, but it's got that going on. Uh, we leveled up, so remaining three points. Let's go more con, and let's just crank... Let's just be silly with the damage. This isn't going to be any sort of permanent character, so... Um, so, yeah. So that's not implemented yet. So we could go through here to get some of these tricks to skill. 70% chance to slow down enemies when inflicting open wounds. How do we inflict open wounds, though? You know what I'm saying? Or is that a skill? Hunter, aggravated shots... Light Armor Mastery, Vulnerability. Yeah, let's just... We'll, we'll do that. Meticulous Killer. Each time you shoot the same enemy with ranged weapons. Yeah, what? Yeah. And then we'll just get this last node there when we can. Cool. Because why not? And then we'll try to get to these trickster skills like as, efficient, as efficiently as possible. And there's probably some useful... Look at this. And this is funky. I don't know. There's just like a node in there. Mystical Shield. When your Umbra is full... Cool. So we can just gun it to there. 
and then boom, so one, two, it's going to cost a fair amount of points. Anyway, I'm not trying to get too far into the whole meta of this whole game, because um, it's still alpha days, and I haven't spent that much time just studying up on exactly how this game is um, designed or working in every sort of aspect. That just kind of comes with time and playing a game, which um, I haven't done all that much of just yet, because early days, and, you know, stuff to do. <laughs> but if this game keeps going the way it's going, I will definitely invest more time into it. I'm having a lot of fun just messing about and seeing what it's got to offer. Ouch. You know, it's still definitely early days. The game seems to... Ooh. Frozen ammo. Hell yeah. And the game seems to need um, a bit of tuning and balance, but, I mean, 0 0.3 alpha. So we've got a long ways to go. Cool beans. Gives frost damage and a chance to freeze enemies to your shots. Permanent effect when toggled on. Yes, please. Ho oh, ho, yeah. That's cool. So I'm, I'm heading for this waypoint and whatever. If, it looks like that might be a town up there. Oh, what even? Get out of my face, fools. I mean, that's it. that might be a little OP. <laughs> I'm going to take it. Is it even costing me anything? It doesn't look like it. I don't know why you wouldn't have this on unless maybe you were fighting a frozen enemy. Oh, yeah. That's pretty dang visceral. I'm not 100% sure on the graphic there, but hey, we'll go with it. I oh, know, it, it does seem to be costing me uh, this stuff, Umbra. Or oh, it's maxing out my Umbra. Instead of my Rage, I guess? I don't even know. Dude, this is a lot of guys. Whatever. Yeah. Get wrecked. Cool beans. Very good. Tome of Lightning Bolt. Don't I already know that, though? Or is that, like, from the sky? Reveal several, release several Lightning Bolts. Lightning projectiles around yourself. Cool, yeah, why not? Ah, oh, I interrupted the learning. Dun, 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 dun. Cool. Great job. Dun, dun, dun. And it's got some bounty sort of thing going on as well, because you can do the... You can talk to this portal keeper, and he uh, presumably opens portals for you to go and look in and kill things and find loots, hopefully. <laughs> pew pew Yeah, I like this skill These dudes are getting a little close to me though And I don't like it So you charge Umbra, I think So like if I'm doing this skill if, Yeah, doing magic things seems to like Charge up your Umbra meter Which is like the magical essence of this game As far as I can tell So if we're using some skill like this Which is using or charging our Umbra. And then we use some of those Umbra skill talents from the passive skill tree. That could be really cool. But like I said, I haven't gotten into all the all, all the game meta yet. Obviously, this game is probably going to still undergo quite a lot of balance and tweaking before Ancient Village Waypoint unlocked. Before we really know exactly how it's all going to look in terms of balance and skills and yada, yada, yada. But it's definitely coming along. This bozo stuck on the tree. Idiot. So, uh, what was I going to do? Oh, yeah, I want to put this on, because I've got a left bracer now. Ha-ha. <laughs> got some armor. Graveyard, that always bodes well. Oh, <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> oh, man. So cool. And, I mean, the, you know, there's not many quests, blah, 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 but that's fine. That's fine. We, I just more wanted to revisit it, because I'll see some of those, some of my crossbow shots are randomly going off to the left of screen, which is kind of funny. Oh, hilarious. So good. Pew, pew. Oh, there's like a, a higher level orc brute in the back there, I think. He had a blue name instead of a normal white one. Oh, maybe I already killed him. Get wrecked. Nice. Wooden crossbow. Is that what I've got right now? Yeah, maybe this one's better though. Uh, 21.2. It is a little bit better. Well, according to the DPS measurement thingy, anyway. 9 point... Oh, it's got a, a higher... Uh, low uh, value. 9.9 .9 to 12.8. So it's slightly more consistent in its damage output. Sure, why the hell not? Mm. Uh, sorry, I needed to drink some water. Jeez. So, I mean, part of me was hoping this would be a little more fleshed out overall because um, I wanted to do more of like a series in this game. That would be really cool. Can I not wear that? There we go. Um, you know, actually explore the quests in the world. And there's probably still plenty to look at. Maybe I'll leave that up to you guys, the loyal contingent of viewers who love me and my action RPG ways. 
Um, if you want to see more of this game, we can definitely spend... Oh, that's cool. Spend some more time just faffing about and killing whatever. Because um, that's always fun. I mean, but if you if you don't, that's fine as well. Uh, but we've still sort of come to visit this game and see what it's got going on. Um, and it's made a lot of improvements. It's really, really exciting to see. That's for dang sure. Because... For a while, we didn't have a stack of action RPGs, and now we've got a whole buttload of them coming out. So, that's really exciting times. See, this guy's got Frost Resist, so possibly switching that skill off would not be the worst way to go. Um, as you can see, I mean, there's all these waypoints here um, that I haven't checked out, so that we probably still could do a decent amount of stuff. Maybe I'll do more. I'm really... I haven't decided yet, but it could be a cool way to go. So, you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'll think about it as well. I might do more anyway just because I want to. Uh, but we'll see how that goes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. Holy smokes. Oh, get shredded, though. <laughs> hey. Get. Don't. Just don't. Yeah. Nice. Nailed torch. Alloy spalder. Give me that health. Oh, man. I just want to find more loots. I'm so loot addicted, bro. Where am I? I can't see me on the map. I can't remember if he's supposed to be able to or not. But whatever. Oh, yeah. Come on, fool. So, I, I guess that when I'm shooting in the other direction, that's meant to represent, like, a miss. Um, but he's missing real bad. <laughs> uh, it's, it's kind of funny. What are these? Steel, sorrel. Ah, oh, cool. Decent shoes. Yeah. Yeah. I was randomly just destroying that fern over there. <laughs> uh, Tome of Chain Lightning. I'd love to find some more relevant um, bow spells, quote unquote. Get out of here. Dead. Nice. This path looks cool. Man, the game is so pretty. I mean, that. If, it, if all else fails, this game looks absolutely gorgeous, but it doesn't fail. I'm just saying if. Man, it looks really cool. Yeah. Ho, ho, ho. That tribalt. Pew, pew. Oh, God. Urgh. Urgh. Oh, I feel so powerful right now. Oh, man. Get small. Oh, there's still one alive. Get out of here. Where'd that steel arm guard go? Where? What is it even? Oh, it's the same as what I've got. Okay. Pine. Where am I right now? Oh, there I am. Okay, I'm on the map again. So we should go to that waypoint. Probably. Because why not just mark them all off? Right? Am I right? Oh, cool! There's bugs! Yeah! Coolie beans! So they've crammed a lot of different environments into this small area, which is kind of fun. Get to explore what it's got to offer. I don't know, if, again, I don't know if this is going to be like the final layout of this area, or if it's going to be sort of more uniform... But yeah, we'll find out over time. Nice. Nice. Okay, where are we is? Let's maybe get back to the path. Perhaps? I don't know. It's kind of wussy. Booyah, Kasha! They're all coming from the sky. Well, presumably the trees, but I'm going with sky. Oh yeah, that's what we need as well. Friggin' orcs coming from the other side. Can you guys fight each other? That would be cool. I would appreciate that. I oh, mean, there's a lot of dudes. Holy crap. Give me give me my free skill. Give me the free skill. Oh my god, I missed everybody. Classic. Yeah. 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 <laughs> That's all I've got. Oh yeah, level 8. Oh, snap. God damn, fools. Get a life, would ya? Ouch! Yeah. Whoa. Bam bada bam. Not enough Umbra. Oh, God. Okay. We're good. We're fantastic. No problem. Still on guard left. That. Get. I just want to loot. Pithus with poison. Dead Pithus. What? Trash talk. Yeah. Give me it. Cool beans. Uh, so I've got skills and things now. Oh man, come on. I want, I want better skills. 
Um, so, so again, we'll go two constitution this time, so we're a little less squishy. So we'll get more passive points. Butter bing, we can get that skill now. Solid. And what's this going to give us at one? Plus five to power, minus ten, umbra of spell, whatever. Um, is there any other greens we can unlock? Look, they've got all these extra rings too. Who knows, man? It's going to end up probably sprawling all the way to the final edge. Yeah, you can even see that they've got these markers coming out, so. Called it. <laughs> that is so rad. Um, so I've already got all the greens from here, so we may as well just go for the greens from over there. So, let's go there. Bam. It's probably some uh, spell casting speed. Uh, see, the cooldown reduction is going to be helpful, so that's cool. And then we've just got to go there or there, and then there, and then there, and then there, and it's not too far away. Sweet! Sir, okay. Keep going this way. Now, this is apparently the path. This minimap doesn't quite seem to match um, the other map. So that's cool. I'll, I'll forgive that. <laughs> Man, you fools are getting so wrecked. What the hell is Cliff? What the Cliff? Didn't see that coming. So, this is very confusing. So I guess this way anyway? What? What even? This is very cliffy. Talk about a cliffhanger. Oh, hoo, 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 hoo. Sorry. Had to be said. Oh, whoops, I didn't mean... I wanted to do that skill. Man, he's got a tank ass. Please die. Come on, fools. Sheesh. I wanted to make it to the next waypoint, but we're going to run out of time at this rate. Oh, <laughs> Yep. Yeah. That'll do it. Oh, would ya? Oh, yeah, got a health node. Cool. Give it. Oh, those, those dodge skills, though. Another wooden crossbow. Okay, it's apparently dead. Um, uh, it looks like it'd be the same as the one I've currently got. Boo earns. Oh, it's 0.2 DPS better. <laughs> Somehow. Classic. So we can level up these skills as well. These seem to level with use, I think. How do you level them, though? Or do they just, did it just level up on its own? I honestly don't know. Uh, I can't look right now. <laughs> uh. Yeah. That's really good single target damage because it's sh they get three bolts instead of one. And it's nasty. Alright, now the minimap seems to be matching up. It's really confusing. I want to just make a beeline and see if we can find this freaking thing. Go away with the attacking me. Alright, now it seems to be matching. It makes more sense now. Classic. Oh, cool. But, how do we get to the dang waypoint? It's meant to be, is it like down in the valley or something or what? Okay, there's a bridge here. Okay, maybe it's on the bridge. I feel like it's going to be on the bridge. Like, just over the bridge. Yeah, that's what I said. Ha ha ha. Yeah, cool. Found it. Solid. Abnona, Abnoba Forest Waypoint Unlocked. Cool. Can we, like, get out of here, maybe? Cooly beans, yeah. And now we're getting into... I don't even know if these were the guys that are just following me from before, or if they're a fresh bunch... But they're definitely here and making me feel very welcome. It'd be cool if you could level the radius on that. Hopefully, ah! Hopefully you can. <laughs> Boom. Oh yeah, more wooden crossbows for the win. Dude, holy crap. You really wanted to come visit the old Kluganator. Sheesh. Nice. Yeah, the poison. Real. Come on, fools. Haha. Uh -huh. Yes. Alright, well, get, stop missing, dude. Sheesh, man. Alright, nearly there. Uh. Uh. Cool. 
Woo! Nice. All right. Well, 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 ladies and gents, that was a revisit of Umbra thus far. Like I said, let me know if you want me to do a bit more. I will happily try to explore these other areas just for the sake of uncovering more map. Let me know what you think down below in the comments and just generally what you think of this game, which is beautifully coming along. Did I say Umbra by any chance? Because that's that is what the, 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 the that's what the game used to be called. It's now Walken, of course. Um, Umbra is just magic in the game. Anyway, I'm rambling to try and cover a potential mistake, which I'm not even sure I made. Uh, let me know what you think down below. Links to the game's um, Steam store thingy down below, so you can check it out for yourself. Support indie devs doing great work, and I hope to see you again in one way or another real soon. My name is Kluger. You have a great day.